so I overslept and uh, just keep hearing this air sound and look what we found. What is this? A gasket has been like cut off or something. Luckily I found another one in Jimmy's, this is Jimmy's truck. You can see it's blue. Has the utility light on right now. Uh, easy fix, it's a broom. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, replace this. Maybe I should show you how it's done. Oh, wonderful, they glued it in. Why do you have to glue these in? They're cheap as heck. Let me run and get something. See if we can pry this out. Yeah, there's even pieces of it in there. Yeah, there's no need to like monkey around with these things they're very cheap they're, they don't even if i buy them you know they're cheap so um there it goes brand new and uh it'll hold on once again let's show you the proper way of attaching the glad hands it has a spring, so there, and I want to do it one hand so I can hold the camera right. And there you go. You can even feel how tight it is. So that's how it is. Jimmy's truck. Everybody. Empty bottle cans, full of broken parts in there. I'm sure Jimmy would not be happy to see his truck in this condition. Turn off the utility light. Um, so, this is my stuff. I just brought this in. I put that in yesterday. This is the. Oh, look! There's the underwear. Just like I like my cab. Shoes. Uh, tissues. Now, uh, I gotta clean all this up. Empty bottles. You know, everywhere you feel, there's trash bins. Everywhere you go to undump, um, to unload or load, let me use the correct terms here. Everywhere you go to load and unload, there's trash bins. But somehow, empty bottles, a box full of trash. And this is where I'm gonna sleep. Holy Jesus. Wow, well. Who said that life of a trucker was easy? Yeah. Dirty floor. I came with Jimmy. I was trained in this truck. I came with Jimmy and he cleaned everything up right. But uh, when you're just a driver, you don't really care about, about stuff that's not yours, apparently. Um, I clean my boss's truck. I clean it... Um, I make sure that that's in top condition because I'm thinking my mind is set on when it's mine what am I gonna do you know when it's mine how would I want people to treat mine so that's why but not everyone thinks like that so I'm gonna talk to my my boss about this to see if I can just throw everything away in the trash did the guy quit or what But here I am in Costco distribution center. A very busy site. Um, I'm getting unloaded. They took off the product quick. I feel like they're just doing paperwork right now, accountability. But um, yeah, we're, we're over here. Uh, I'm gonna go to Compton to pick up and then I'll be on my way. Uh, yeah, here we are. Okay, so we had our Super Bowl. We had our uh, honeymoon retreat for our fifth year anniversary. 
We had a uh, two days off. I haven't had two days off in a long time. And here we are, back to work. I'm over here, bro. Excuse me for that. So I already checked all of these. They're all good. Uh, I like to keep these 100, 100, uh, the back of the trailer or the back of the truck, 100, 100. But the drives, I want them 105, 110. Uh, the steers, sorry, drives are the, uh, the well, maybe we should go over that to show you what I mean. So I checked this uh, already. My boss called me while I was checking. He called me like, hey, come look at this and come and talk to me about that. So that's why, uh, come on, thingy. It's a very good thing to have, by the way. Uh, pressure, uh, uh, tire pressure gauge, and uh, uh, the hose that you can connect to the truck. Uh, these are little equipments I did not know existed, and uh, they're very useful. So in your morning inspection, 110, somebody's been really, really checking these tires. This is the first time I, uh, I checked the tires in the trailer and uh, and they're good and they're over good because usually usually you come and you have a flat tire and you have a flat tire because nobody checks them except for the people who belong for example this is 5311 if i uh if i haven't used 5311 for a while it's uh somebody else who who's been using it and they don't check the tire pressure um but uh, i do because i go far like i said i go long distance this is my storage compartment this is where i keep my stuff so these are the steers these should be 105 110 it says if you leave them at 100 and you drive in the summer it's gonna go 120 so the heat so uh not to worry. This is the other side of the hose. It connects to the trailer brake. So you can uh, cut the air off. This truck has been in the shop for a while. Um, Reel it in and put it away. So yeah, safety inspection is done. I'm ready to go. Um, how did I even get into trucking? I like I said, I've been in multiple and a lot of works. Um, I would have never considered trucking because of my church responsibilities and church goals. So how did I get into trucking? That's the question. Let's talk about that in this episode. Get it here. Get it here. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. The ice chest needs to be prepared. Well, that's right. My dad gave me some juices. Um, I guess he, he works in the where they dispose the old juices or whatnot from the store. And he sent us cranberry juice, which is what I used to drink. And so I'm like, this might not be healthy. So that's why uh, I gave up on the cranberry juice. But now I have three cranberry juice, and everybody knows if it's free, it's me. So, yeah, uh, this is a Clark a store we, we found in San Clemente, and my wife convinced me to uh, buy some stuff there. This is what my dad found for me. So, what I'm doing is uh, I'm preparing my trip. I don't want my salads to go on the uh, open air. I don't want my salads to, to go bad. So, I need to do it like this. Prepare everything beforehand. These are my uh, anxiety foods. Uh, pistachios. And not this brand only. I get all the other brands as well. But, uh, 
uh, to stop chewing on my fingers and biting my nails off. I get pistachios, I get sunflower seeds, I get sometimes beef jerky. I hear beef jerky is bad. I, I, as you can tell, I'm overweight. I'm trying to slow it down. Uh, my wife said, hey, what you gonna get into a gym? I told her what, that was a plan until brand new. It's not brand new. I don't know who's it is. It's just waterfall. Okay? I don't like wasting water needed. So I told her it's not. It was my plan because I thought I was gonna change companies. That I was gonna. I was gonna uh, get into a gym membership, but uh, because I didn't change companies, now I we'll have to wait a little longer until. Um, I have to wait a little longer until I get until I get into the local position, and that, then I can then I can go ahead and uh and, you know get a gym membership somewhere and, and and work on my my weight. What I'm doing right now is a tug test. This tug test is very important to make sure that your truck, your tractor, is connected to the trailer. A lot of people have gone uh, without uh, the uh, without brakes and, 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 and without being attached to to, to the trailer, and, the, and they take off and the trailer stays behind. So that's a big old issue. So yeah, you always do a tug test, especially when uh, you're in the middle of nowhere. There's a lot of comedians out there, a lot of people who think they're funny doing pranks and pull people's pin. That is shameful. You end somebody's career like that. You end somebody's whole life and their excuses. Well, they should have done a safety come on, player. That, that's no reason to, to do that. But yes, um, how did I start? Let's go back to Paris. So, I was being uh, sent on a service call. It was summer. I was digging for a broken water line. Paris Boulevard, City of Paris, Circle K. When uh, I ran into my brother, uh, brother Sergio, and uh, he asked me, because he arrived in a truck, a hazmat truck, which is my goal now, by the way. So he arrived and he's like, um, brother, what are you doing? And hey, you know, it was the second time I ran into this brother. I ran into him in uh, the first time at Atlanta, Circle K in Atlanta, you see. Uh, the company I work for, Masterline, uh, Masterline Plumbing had a contract with Circle K. So uh, I ran I ran into him there, Circle K, like, hey, what are you doing? Whoa, you know, I'm working, oh, I'm working too. Okay, good, good, goodbye, whatever, we left each other. Then we met up in, Paris, and um, that's when he, uh, he he told me, "What are you doing? I'm, I'm looking for a, I'm looking for for a broken water main." And he's like, "No, no, no! Why are you doing that?" And then he turns to the truck and said, "Look, here's the money." And of course, I saw the big old tanker, I saw the big old truck. You look at the tires and you're like, that's super expensive, why would you want to do that? But, um, he told me, you know, get your license, come on man, you can do it. You, you can make, you know, you make 200 dollars, you know what, give me your number. I'm like, damn man, this guy wants my number. I gave him my number, of course, we see each other at church, what can you do? You know what I mean? You gotta give him your right number, your correct number. <laughs> you can't be one of these people giving fake numbers. And uh, sure enough, we got in contact and he motivated me and said, all right, let's do it. So, um, at the time my wife was pregnant and uh, expenses were accumulating and income stayed the same. So, uh, what do you have to lose when, when you need more money, you're not getting more money, 
you're not gonna get more money. And all of this is with respect, you know what I mean? I'm not dissing anybody. When you make a business, you're making a business to get yourself rich, not to get anybody else rich. I'm not knocking the hustle to anybody who I work for. You know, Vista Metals was making, you know, they were, they were boasting that they make the metal for the spaceships, for NASA. And we're making dog, ugly money there. They made that game plan for them to get rich, not for us. We just employees. If we don't like it, we can fit somewhere else. So, I had to look in me and see how can I get more money for my family. Um, this was not a, a fast process. I took it very slow. My baby was born. There's this law that you can take time off, baby bonding time is called. And you know, your taxes will cover, will cover the, your, your expenses and all that good stuff. So, I took that time to go to trucking school. I went to trucking school, I went back to work. I was juggling work at trucking school and uh, you know the day came when I went to the DMV 95 well you know what I'm, I gotta say how it is the whole time I was at the DMV they were delayed and all that good stuff I didn't see anybody pass the test that's why I want to use the word 95% don't pass the test um, thanks to God I did uh, but yeah a lot of people can't pass the simple air air inspection test uh, so I was able to pass it and then I went right back to plumbing so I had a class A license working as a plumber and once again Brother Sancho telling me hey you need to uh, you need to look for a trucking job have your trucking license what are you doing why are you moving why like i can't find anything that would be local um when you get the license and all but that doesn't make you a professional driver you know the minimum the bare minimum to to trucking you know what a the written test you know that you know how to show the inspector, the instructor, that you know what you're talking about when in reality you don't. I was good at that, and that's basically what I had the license for. Um, CRST, CR England, Swift, all these companies wanted to send me far, away for months, a month and a half, um, away from my family. I couldn't do that. I was not willing to do that. Um, we, uh, I couldn't find a job until we finally had a. The brother had to push me like, you need to, uh, you need to find something. And I went with Larry Jacinto. Um, I had asked Brother Benjamin before, and Brother Benjamin, I got my class A. But you need to know something about when you're a new driver. There's a big chance that you're gonna crash. There's a big chance you're gonna break something. So insurances don't take you. The big companies, the mega carriers, those guys are self-insured. They have so much money they can any they can break the world and, and pay for it. You know what I mean? So um. That's the only place I would accept. Of course, I'm not gonna blame or not gonna judge my brother Benjamin. He, he, I can't, I can't. He wouldn't, he wouldn't answer my phone, my text calls. Uh, I worked uh, with Larry Jacinto for a while, for a bit. Not a while. I gotta say, what? Two months max, I think. I put in my two weeks notice. I was like, I 
have a, I have a, a Class A license. I'm driving a Class B vehicle, and I'm doing uh, hard labor. I'm sorry, but you gotta know your words. Like I'm not, I'm above this already. With the things I know, with you know, what I mean, I woke up sunburned home. I'll be tired, super exhausted. I'll pass out. So. Uh, that's um I put in my two week notice. When I put in my two week notice on August for August Brother Benjamin calls me. Hey, you wanna hop in? Heck yeah! <laughs> Heck yeah. That's um perfect timing, perfect save. I am in Vegas. I just fueled up. We we are going to uh, shoot North Utah. I don't know exactly what the town is called. Uh, don't be lazy. Tell the people. Smithfield, Utah. Smithfield, Utah. Um, I'm gonna deliver this thing tomorrow, 8 a.m. Uh, I am uh, trying out talking about driving. This is the first time I did it. It um, it looks kind of weird. It sounds kind of weird. I don't know if I'll do it some more. I'll, I'll leave it up to my editor to uh, to tell me, hey, uh, you know that that engine noise is way too loud. You're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to go without it. But yeah. Where did we leave off my story? Uh, Brother Benjamin hired me. Oh, oh yeah. Um, he took me out for a, a spin, and because he's on the phone all the time, um, he messed me up. So uh, he's on the phone, telling him to go this way. Uh, look at your mirrors, and he's on the phone, and he's, he was messing me up. So he got me nervous. I made a major mistake. Uh, he fired me. He told me uh, to go to CR England and then come back with him once I was trained. I was like, uh, it broke my heart. I, I I held my tears in front of him, but you know, uh, at the end of the day, uh, you know, he's looking out for his company. And uh, the the guy who's supposed to train me, his name is Jimmy. He's from church as well. Hint: Everyone's from church. Everyone I know is from church. Um, he told them, hey, where's that guy I'm gonna train? He's like, oh, you know, I sent him to Sierra England. And Jimmy was a lawyer for me. He was like, no, I'll, I'll train him, tell him that. So they called me last minute, hey, you wanna still go? And I was like, yeah. And I, I went with Jimmy that night. He, he picked up in, in Redlands and he was gonna go deliver in Utah. And the uh, funny thing about that is that it's the first time I left my baby my baby was born already it was the first time I left my baby and I cried I cried that night because I never left my baby in my life so um, yeah I was I was holding in my my oh and just like today I had like the top of my jaw like the teeth on the, my left side they, they hurts I need to go to a dentist just like today uh, the bottom was infected and uh, I was in pain I had fever um yeah and nothing was working out for me that was super bad but uh yeah jimmy trained me for a few months uh no one month i'll say one month probably one month in total and then i was on my own but uh yeah jimmy saved me from being fired because uh, i was that bad so just to let you know don't quit too early so i'm heading out from vegas heading north still on the 15th uh, I'll check in next time I stop. Here we are, Smithfield, Utah. North Utah. There's still some snow. In fact, it's snowing in Idaho Falls right now. Um, It's not that cold. It could be colder. 
they're unloading me early. Everything's good and going good today. Oh, the inspection sticker. That's something I should talk about. Uh, but uh, maybe another episode or something. But here we are. Farms. <laughs> awesome. So, so we arrived to uh, Smithfield, Utah. Um, getting unloaded. I have no idea what this is. I thought we were loaded with food. This is not a food processing center. So, uh, it's called Lifeline Products. I don't know what that is. So, let's see. I stopped to sleep in... I don't know. I slept for three hours, then I kept driving, and then I arrived, and then slept the rest at the time. Um, let's go back to the driving, with how I started driving. Uh, Jimmy uh, trained me for a couple of weeks. I had an infected uh, tooth. Uh, cavity, uh, root canal, all of that good stuff. I got recrowned, um, but uh, during that time when Jimmy was training me, um, my tooth hurt. I, I was I couldn't concentrate right. He showed me technique how to park. Um, all he needed to do is show me a couple times, and then I got it myself. And of course, it's with practice. You're gonna get it with practice. You're not gonna get it by just watching so i can park basically anywhere uh there have been some crazy reverses and especially in la um 53 foot trailers were not uh invented back in the day they were smaller so the docks are still made for the small trailers um and and to get into these parking places are to back up into these docks it's very difficult sometimes but uh you know we're surviving there's been people i've helped personally guys got off and can you park for me i'll, I'll help you out brother and, and i show him the, okay this is how you do it okay for when it's your turn okay okay um there's been places where uh uh, I known that people that 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 were hired in this company, that they say, you know what, I can't park, and they left. They they leave. Like, I can't park here, and leaving. Then they had to send Jimmy or somebody else to to pick up that load. But um, yeah, it's a, a difficult uh, process sometimes. So here, there's plenty of room. Um, Uh, we the, the, <laughs> on my first day of uh, tra uh, driving alone, uh, I had a little dispute with with the guy who got me into trucking in the first place, and um, I've been trying to reach out to him somehow to fix our uh, our relationship because I still want to be a hazmat trucker. That is the goal. That is hazmat trucking for the fuel. Um, uh, for the fuel, you'll be local, so you'll be home, and you'll be getting top pay, the most money you ever make, um, and and I want to do that, but uh, we'll see if it, if 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 it's possible. We'll see if if um, if I can get in connection with that guy. He was gonna train me how to do a hazmat. Um, obviously the driving part I'm the man but uh, but yeah it's just the, the hazmat um, you know how to fuel at the at the uh, whatever you call those huge tank place <laughs> I, I was going to say reservoir <laughs> and how to unload in the gas stations but um, yeah man uh, you know it was uh, some process it, the most impressed let's see moment 
Yeah. I think that that's pretty much it. We we took a uh, to present time. Um, pretty much that's that's how I ended up here. That's where I am present day today uh, as a driver. Um, looking forward for my my truck to be repaired and I can use that truck to uh, be an owner op. Alright, here I am, arriving, banning. My boss has no, uh, no loads for me. So, um, I'm gonna go home for a little bit. Uh, I didn't want to stop, but it's a slow season, it's a slow uh, time right now in February. You know, after Christmas and after uh, after the holidays, it gets kind of slow. Uh, I know there's a pattern for two years already, but um, I'm stressing because uh, the landlord. Remember, I told you um, for the restaurant that they told us they pressured us into getting the spot. They told us it was ready to go. And maybe, you know, I'm gonna I'm give them the benefit of the doubt. They didn't know that the place wasn't ready to go. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold them accountable for that, but they want all the rent. And uh, they're telling us that they, you know, they want all the rent and whatever we're gonna be able to pay the whole rent. And I know that it's regular businesses, when they're opening, they, um, you know, they take care of the rent and they invest in the equipment and all that good stuff, all the uh, requirements and health inspection and all that. But uh, I wasn't in the position to uh, to do any of that. So so I'm, I'm over here stressing. But uh, I get to see my baby, that would be a good thing. I am gonna go to church. I haven't gone to church like in three weeks. Um, that's a big thing too. Um, I'm probably not gonna take my wife or my baby because I want to I want to enjoy the prayer um, yeah so uh, the truck my boss wants to um, wants to repair it wants to fix it so he will tell me if I'm taking this truck up north again or if uh, or if I'm gonna borrow Jimmy's truck and I'll show you Jimmy's truck so that he can, you know, get some airtime as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, here we are. What did I want to tell you guys? I want to tell you guys about... What did I want to tell you guys? I have something to tell you guys. How they go when I when I go back. What were we even talking about? Driving. Yeah, so... Uh, oh yeah, the uh, finding a job once you're new... Fresh out of a, uh, fresh out of a school. School only teaches you to learn the uh, the basics uh, to pass the exam. You need training, and uh, you know I got the training here. Um, let's see. It, it, it crossed my mind. It, it completely, I, it completely went blank. Uh, I was like, oh, I'm gonna tell them about this. I'm gonna tell them about that. Uh, well, let me see if I remember. Let me take a little break to remember. Maybe I was gonna vent. <laughs> Maybe I was gonna vent. Uh, I think I was gonna tell you guys that, uh, you know, I'm stressing about, about the, the rent. Um, also, my truck needs a tune up. It needs tires. I don't have an alignment, so it's tuning up the tires. And this thing, it's officially hurting 24 7 now so i need to check out dentist i got an appointment maybe i should run home i'm gonna i'm gonna run home i'm gonna call them up and be like hey i'm in town just checking to see if you guys have a spot for me because um they gave me the appointment till next month two weeks from now uh so so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna have to uh, uh fix that that's no insurance 200 300 bucks um yeah 
it, it, it's, it's stressing. I, I I get frustrated. My wife gets frustrated. We have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, you know uh, anxieties and, and we'll, this is a hurdle for us. Uh, but uh, you know we're gonna keep praying and keep waiting. And the Lord's our answer and and uh, you know that restaurant is a blessing. Too many good things happen that. Um, that I can I can't just give up on it. Uh, it's a little bit of sacrifice, and I'm gonna hold firm. I am not driving on Sundays. I, that's the first thing I dropped Sunday. I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll work on Sunday so I can make. I'm not driving on Sunday. I am not driving on Sunday, or maybe I can drive after Sunday school, so I can compromise. See, I'm thinking <laughs> maybe I, I go to Sunday school, and after Sunday go, I, I take off to deliver wherever. But for now, um, uh, you know, for today. Uh, that's it. Maybe I'll show you a little bit about the house. I, I don't think today it's, it's a big video, so I'm going to go home and record. <laughs> yeah, well, here we are. I was supposed to arrive last night. I'm arriving this morning. I hit... Uh, there's a, a spot where uh, it's like 30 miles of Arizona before you hit Utah. So... There's a bridge there that's been worked on. That was under construction, so it had 10 miles of traffic. Then you run to Nevada, and um, there is a hill where they're working on, and that was under construction. And that was probably 15 miles of traffic. So, uh, 25 miles, 30 miles, three and a half hours. It was a bad weekend. I'm returning. I don't even know where my check is going to be. My check is going to be somewhere. I hope it's, my check is there so I can grab it and, and bounce. Um, but, um, yeah, man. Well, finishing up about work, uh, I used to think, that my brother Pat was not responsible because my brother Pat can't have a, a boss. He um he has quit jobs or you know whatever because he doesn't like the bosses or the bosses tell him something that he can't do and he won't do it. You're if you're young, respect your boss, obey your boss, listen to your boss. But the goal is to get something like for example my position that um, you don't have a boss because you got things to do that sometimes you're not gonna be able to uh, you're not gonna be able to work on certain days you need days off you don't, or you just you don't want to work you don't feel like working that day so uh, yeah that's my goal Hazmat, owner operator, so that I don't have a boss, so that I don't have, you know, to uh, answer to or answer to the least amount of people possible. There's some people who are, there's a lot of men wired like me. That's why there's a lot of self employed, self contract, self, I'll be there when I'll be there type of guys. Well, uh, this probably will be the end of the whole video. I probably said that already. But uh, follow, subscribe. Oh, shoot, I had to say that in the beginning, huh? <laughs> like. Work, 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 work. It's me, I be work, 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 work. Well, no. ladies and gentlemen, uh, my teeth are not rotten. That's the good news. And this is this Corina, my uh, mm. restaurant manager. Nanny, Say hi, Corina. Nanny assistant, babysitter. And babysitter, temporary babysitter. <laughs> Over overqualified babysitter, and this is the wife. Baby, say hi. Hi. All right. So um, yeah, uh, I have good news. They're not rotten, but uh, right here, this one is coming out cricket. This is my wisdom teeth coming in cricket, hitting this one. So, ow, it hurts right now. All I can eat is this, and yeah.